Hey guys and welcome! Today I want to take a quick look at something that I personally was certain that everyone else around is certain about. And as it turned out, it's not necessarily the case. I'm talking about the Battlefield 2018 reveal. Some members of Battlefield 1 community started coming up with some crazy theories that we will not even see the trailer for Battlefield 2018 before EA Play in June, where the game in fact will be available to play. Then, some Battlefield YouTubers hopped on the topic and they started recording videos about EA Play reveal, Battlefield 2018 not having the trailer before the reveal, and I'm sitting here confused. Because we already know what the schedule is. So, let's make it clear once and for all. Battlefield 2018 will be officially released at EA Play on the 9th of June 2018 and public will be able to play it on the spot in Los Angeles. You can fly there, tickets are free, I mean not the plane tickets, but the tickets to the event are free, so if you register, you might actually get the chance to play the game. You don't need to be a YouTuber, you don't need to be a celebrity, you can just come in and play. The event has officially been confirmed by EA a couple months ago and majority of YouTubers are going, including me, so it's not like we don't know that the game will be released. Of course we do know, we are flying to LA to actually play it. So this was confirmed and everyone in the community knew about it. But then, someone working for EA dropped the tweet saying really excited for the new Battlefield to be revealed at EA Play in June. It is jaw-dropping. And then, when someone asked about the era of the game, he replied Trust me, it's better if you experience the full reveal. Learning little bits early will weaken the impact. And after this tweet, some people started speculating if EA will hold off the trailer until EA Play. And I can guarantee you, they will not. Although the tweet might somehow suggest it, it doesn't make any sense from the marketing standpoint. They have to release both, teaser and the trailer, if they decide to do both, they might only release the trailer, who knows, but whatever they decide to release, they will release it before the event. Because on the actual event, on the 9th of June, YouTubers, streamers and whoever else is invited to the reveal will play the actual game and show the gameplay. No one will be interested in watching the trailer if they can watch the actual gameplay from the game. EA has to release the trailer before the event happens for the publicity to be actually interested in watching their conference at EA Play. It's a basic marketing. They have to attract the customers with the trailer first so that then they actually watch the conference, then they pre-order the game and EA gets money. That's how the business works and realistically, how many people do you think know about EA Play if they don't release the trailer or they don't drop any date when they have the conference? I know this, other YouTubers know this, our audiences know this, which in fact do overlap, so it's not like we can just add up views and see how many people actually learned about EA Play, but still. If you compare this to EA selling 14 millions of copies of Battlefield 1, it's nothing. Like, they need to attract a lot of people, a lot of customers and YouTubers reporting about this, EA tweeting something about the conference, like, that's not enough. They have to, and I repeat, they have to release the trailer, so let's just get this out of the picture. We will get the trailer, it will not be released at EA Play. Anyway guys, that would be it for this video. I hope it made things clear for you and you know what the release schedule for Battlefield 2018 is, so you don't need to do any crazy speculations anymore. As always, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the Battlefield!